is Jean Wall and I'm a drama specialist with Wolf Trap. And today what I'd like to show you is a lesson that I often do with children in the spring uh, uh, based on gardening. I'm, I'm always asked to do gardens in the spring by the teachers and so I use a book, start with a book called Jack's Garden by Henry Cole. I read that to the children involving them with a lot of movements and gestures. We learn how to make a honeybee. We learn how to make a butterfly and a singing bird and also learn the sequence of what plants need to grow in a garden. So after we've read that book, then I ask the children if they'd like to make a beautiful garden like that right here in our classroom. Of course they say yes and I say well we can because we've got fabulous imaginations. I ask them what are we going to need to get a garden started in our classroom and they either use the word dirt or they'll say soil which is a new word that we've learned from the book and this is our word soil it begins with what letter s it goes on our word wall so we just happen to have some beautiful rich soil here perfect for gardening and i'm going to spread it out in the middle of our circle here like this very nice now what are we else are we going to need what's the next thing we're going to need and they tell me seeds and I show them a seed packet of some sunflowers. I take out a little tiny seed and I show them how small it is. And I ask them if they think they can make their bodies tiny like a little seed right where they're sitting in the circle. Can you make your body small like that? Okay, seeds, good job. Now when you hear music, I want you to allow your seed to sprout and grow right where you are. children hear the music they sprout and grow into a seed perfect now they understand the music hue and growing all right I want you to sit back down right now we are going to plant seeds in our garden we'll probably plant them three maybe four at a time depending on the size of our seeds and we're going to let them move them put them in the garden have them find a place in the garden then what do we have to do we have to cover them up with more soil, just like Jack did in the garden. So we, luckily, we've got beautiful rich soil to cover up our seeds. Now, the minute you cover up your seeds in the garden, all you're hearing is little giggles and squeals with delight, and that's totally fine. They are just having fun under there. They're following directions. They're doing great. They're just so excited. So now, we've got to uh, sequence what we need to get these seeds to grow. And the children tell me that we need rain. And of course, we have our word rain. We identify the letter, it goes on our word wall. So we're gonna, I'm gonna have one, two, three, four rain helpers when I tell you to. And the rain helpers, where are we gonna start? Of course, up in the sky. And we're gonna come down and we're gonna pitter pat, pitter pat, pitter pat on the backs of the seeds under the soil. And you can imagine there's a lot of giggling then. And then the rain helpers go back up and they sit back down. Now something that we didn't talk about in Jack's book but is very important for our seeds to grow is the sun, which also begins with what letter? S, right? Sun, because the soil has to be warm enough for the seeds to sprout. So then I'm gonna go one, two, three, four. We're gonna have four rain helpers come around when I tell you to. We're gonna come around our garden. Of course, the sun starts up in the sky. And then we're gonna gently put the sun's energy down and we're gonna rub the backs of the seeds so, so gently. We're gonna say, time to grow. And then the sun goes back up. They sit back down. So now, the seeds under the soil have had their rain and their sun to warm up and so now it's time for them to grow. I tell the seeds in the garden to stay right where they are. I'm going to uncover them so that we can watch them sprout and grow in our garden. When you hear music, you can begin to grow in the garden. I put on the music cue. The children, bing, sprout and grow in our garden. and. Then it's the next round, the next children get to come up and go through the whole sequence. So in the end, everyone's had a chance to be a seed in the garden, everyone's had a chance to be a rain helper, and everyone's had a chance to be a sun helper in the garden. But at this point, after everyone's had their turn, guess what, they all go, Miss Jean, let's do it again. And I tell them we will, and maybe next time we'll put in some of the different insects that we saw in Jack's garden 
to come and visit the garden as well. But right now, at the end of this lesson, the children's energy is really, really high. They're very excited. They've really had a lot of fun. So I've got to bring that energy back down. So what I do at the end for closing is I sing a song. And guess what? You already know the signs in the song. What's this? Right, a honeybee. What's this? Right, our butterfly. And what's this? Right, our singing bird. Here's a sign you haven't learned yet. It's called the fancy finish. It goes like this. Yeah. All right. Now you know all the signs. See if you can help me out with the signs while we sing the song. It goes like this. Honey bees, honey bees, making that honey in the honey tree. Honey bees, honey bees, making that honey all day. Flying high, flying low, up and down and around they go. Honey bees, honey bees, making that honey all day. Remember how we did our butterfly? Whoop! Butterfly, butterfly, flapping her wings as she flies by. Butterfly, butterfly, flapping her wings all day. Flying high, flying low, up and down and around she goes. Butterfly, butterfly, flapping her wings all day. Singing bird, singing bird, singing his song so he'll be heard. Singing bird, singing bird, singing his songs all day. Singing high, singing low, up and down and around he goes. Singing bird, singing bird, singing his songs all day. Singing his songs all day. Yeah! <laughs> well, they might miss the yeah the first time. They never miss it the second time we sing that song. Anyway, so that's how we close out the lesson by singing that song. And what that does, it's a, a really nice way of ending, especially if the energy is high in the class, because what you're doing is you're doing a lot of cross body movements. And so that helps integrate both sides of the brain. And it's, it's a very calming thing for children to do is to be able to move across the midline of their body. Um, so anyways, that's how we finish up that lesson. Thank you.